Hello, my name is Ken Getz. I'm a senior consultant with MCW Technologies. In this presentation, you'll learn how to create a simple bar graph on a report in Access 2007. This is an exceedingly simple technique, but it's actually very useful because it requires very little resources and is simple to set up for displaying numeric data as a bar graph in a report. I've loaded the sample database, create simple bar graph.actdb into Access 2007, and I've loaded the sample table. As you can see, we have a list of students and their scores on a test, for example. And I'd like to display these students and their scores in a bar graph on a report. Now I've created that report already, and it looks something like this. In preview mode, you can see those bars and the names and the scores. If I zoom in, you can see a little bit more. Let's get this so we can actually see something. There we go. You can see each student and the score for each student represented on a, well, a visual bar graph. There are ways to do this using graphic controls in Access and Reports, but it's so much easier just to create a little rectangle and scale it correctly based on the actual value you want to display. Let's look at the report in design view first to see what's going on. You can see that we have in the detail section a bound field for the name, a bound field for the score, and a rectangle control which fills a fixed width. In our case, that's four inches. In addition, I've added vertical lines at the one, two, and three inch marks. And those will go all the way down the page once the report is in preview mode or printed. You can see those here going down the page. Now the question is, how do we get that rectangle to scale appropriately? Well, that's the easy part actually. And there's our one line of code. In the format event of the detail section, we have to take the value from the score text box, divide it by 100 to convert it into a percentage, and then convert it into TWIPS. So we take the value of four inches, which is the width of our total bar, and then multiply that by 1440 to convert it from inches into TWIPS. That expression will take, for example, the value of 50 on the score, get us 0.5, times 1440 times four gives us 2880 twips, which is two inches, which is the correct length for that bar. That's it. The trick is understanding that you need to do this in the format event of the detail section of your report, which you've laid out with a rectangle that is the full width of that. Actually, you know what? The bar can be any width because we set the width of that bar at runtime during the format event of this detail section. Using this quick and simple technique, you can create a bar chart based on any data you like as long as there is a numeric field within the data.